What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning David Hay, Alexander Usyk, and Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Get this. David Hay frustrated at Fury Usyk collapse. Somebody didn't want it. Wow. Former heavyweight world champion David Hay has given his thoughts on the recent collapse of the Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk fight. Fury looked all set to take on Usyk in April until negotiations fell apart, as we know. The bout would have crowned the first heavyweight undisputed champion since Lennox Lewis, but the first four-belt champion as well. Okay, and the terms reportedly didn't ag agree over rematch financials, and the rest is history. And speaking to second out, seconds out, Hay believes that the only reason a fight of that magnitude doesn't happen is when somebody doesn't want it. He said, I don't tend to listen too much of the he said, she said. It just gets frustrating. You hear one thing, you get excited, then it's off. I think there is a reason the fight hasn't been made yet. There is a reason. Somebody doesn't want to do it. They both said they do, but somebody doesn't. I've been in many uh, situations where <clears throat> there was or there has been a big fight and I found a way to make it happen. You agree what you need to agree. If you both want, want it, you meet in the middle and make things happen. I thought it was overly generous of Usyk to accept the 70-30 the that he accepted. That's someone who really wants to make the fight. That's a step in the right direction in terms of somebody wanting it, but it still doesn't happen after that. I believe it when I see them both in the ring. I'm trying not to get too excited. Those are the words of David Hay, and let me counterpunch. You know what David Hay just did? David Hay just gave you a scenario of how fights get made, what you need to do to make the fights made, and the fight gets made. You meet in the middle somewhere, and then that fight gets made. You agree somewhere, and then that you know a bargaining begins, and it gets done. And you know, people. For, let me say this before I, I finish my counterpunch. People make negotiations so difficult, and it's not. David Hay is absolutely right. Someone doesn't want the fight. And who didn't really want the fight was Tyson Fury. If you are the one that gets caught up on what you're not going to do, you are the one that don't want the fight. See, everyone just pretends that Usyk pulled out due to, hey, I'm tired of the bullshit. He pulled out because Tyson Fury would not agree with him on the split. That's why he pulled out. On top of all the other things that he agreed with. When David Hay talked about bargaining, Alexander Usyk bargained. When Tyson Fury said, there's no 50-50, okay, how about 60-40 to the winner? And Tyson was like, no, there's no 60-40 to the winner. Again, there's no bargaining, right? Okay. Then he says, oh, how about 70-30 then? That's really showing us that not only weren't you willing to give 60-40 to the winner, you went past that to guarantee that Usyk wouldn't want that shit because if he wanted 60-40 to the winner, he could never possibly want 30 to my 70. You see what I'm saying? So no, there was no bargaining factor, no evidence of bargaining whatsoever with Tyson. Tyson was like, this is how it's going to be, motherfucker. This is all it is. That's it. Take it or leave it. You don't offer me anything. I'm the guy. I'm the WBC champ. I'm the Gypsy King. That is it. That's it. This is all. Take it or leave it. You know, and when those big things, the split, um, the venue, um, the A side, B side shit, because really Saudi Arabia doesn't really deal with that. They just give you this and they give the other fighter that. You know what I mean? Hey, here's that for this fighter on their side. You like it? Cool. Here's to that fighter on that side. You like it? Cool. That's how Saudis do it. And Tyson didn't like that because Tyson knew that's, that's too easy. I have to put myself in a situation 
where if things don't go my way, I have to be able to navigate my way out of these situations. I can't do that in Saudi Arabia because if I agree to everything that on my side and this motherfucker has, which he already knew Usyk did. See, the moment Tyson found out Usyk agreed to all the terms, because they were the first ones to do it, Tyson was like, I don't give a shit what it is. I'm not doing it. You know why he's not doing it? Because he doesn't want to get his ass whooped in Saudi Arabia by a Ukrainian. That's why. That's why. So what he did was, you know what? I'm not ready for this. Let this motherfucker fight a couple more people in heavyweight division. I don't respect him at a, as a heavyweight anyway. He's too tricky. He's a sneaky, ugly, gappy tooth little motherfucker. See, all these factors and these things that he's coming at Usyk with, okay, all these factors he was coming with him with were factors of uncertainty. He didn't really know, like, okay, what am I really going to do about this guy, Usyk? Because I don't want to fight him. I don't want to fight him in the Middle East. I'm not taking that Middle East money. You know, let's move the negotiations here to the UK so I can get my way, you know, any kind of way. Okay? And no, I'm not negotiation. No, there's no bargaining. None of that. Even though Team Usyk went there to bargain the 60-40 deal. Well, how about this? We'll give you 60-40. If you beat us, the winner gets 60-40. No, that showed you right there like Tyson wouldn't even sure that he was going to win because he, no way in hell that that would be the case. And all Usyk wanted since he wanted the 30-70, right? He agreed to the 70-30 or the 30-70. He wanted, okay, give me 70. When I beat you, you take 30. They were like, no, that was the whole thing. And people, please understand what David Hay is saying is absolutely point on. If somebody didn't want, if that fight didn't happen, somebody didn't want it. But what did he say? Well, it was good of Usyk. He showed initiative taking that 30, 30, 70. So basically this is what he's saying. Tyson didn't want that shit. He didn't want it for whatever reason. People saying, oh, he's not scared. Don't talk for that motherfucker. If Tyson Fury wasn't scared, he would have took that fight like he took the Derek Chisora fight. See, those fights that Tyson is not really uh, a hundred percent convinced that he's going to win. You're going to see situations like this. You're going to see hangups. You're going to see confusion. You're going to see contradiction. You're going to see lies. You're going to see antics. You're going to see all this type of bullshit, just like this tournament. Oh, that, that's lie. They're not talking. Well, Bob Aram said that yesterday that you guys are talking. Yeah, they're talking the skills challenge. Prince Khalid's team that he put together to make these huge super fights, right? So now it's it's a question of you know of Tyson. Oh, I don't. This is not happening. Tyson didn't want the fight. You know, will he want the fight later on? We don't know. But obviously, he's going to have to do something. And I think what he was trying to do is give us a substitute with either Zili Zhang or Joe Joyce. That way, people can get the fuck off his back for not fighting Alexander Usyk. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of David Hay saying that somebody didn't want the fight between Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk really uh, <laughs> mixing things up, getting everybody riled up. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys been counterpunch. Peace!